All right, guys, welcome to my studio for today. Just not far outside Brussels in Belgium, and I thought I'd walk through my bikepacking setup as it currently stands. I'll do a much shorter version where I go through each piece relatively quickly, and then I'll also do a much longer version where I go through in terms of things I liked and didn't like about the bags and tips and tricks I've come across along the way. In summary, it's a four season setup, so I can go to about negative 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, it's approximately negative four to negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit. In terms of water capacity, I've got water bottles, water bottles, and a bladder system, which gives me about nine liters of water, which is approximately 2.2 gallons, I believe. And then also we have the, the food bags at the front, which is 10 liters, which is approximately 2.6 gallons of food. And now for the short version, we're gonna race through this relatively quickly. If we start from the back and move our way to the front, we've got the Revelate holster, which holds the Revelate Terrapin dry bag. Just a quick note, I'm a really big fan of Velcro and daisy chains. Here's a good example of a daisy chain and plenty of straps. So um, to support this Terrapin bag, and as well as I've got my uh, sleeping bag here, I've got some straps that just to support it, to stop it moving up and down so much. This is my sleeping bag and it just sits in a uh, Cedar Summit dry bag. If we move to the middle of the bike, we've got a, a Rogue Panda Alaminto top tube bag, really nice and solid, really rigid sides which is great so it doesn't interfere with your legs, really nice strong zip. And then if we move to the front, we've got the j Packs snack pack and I chose this one because of the, the larger capacity and also because the, the j Packs has got um, a really good reputation online for making great bags. Alright, if we move down, Obviously, the, one of my major bags on the bike is my frame bag. This is made by Elp Kit in the UK, and I opted for the, the document pocket, which is really handy to hold all your credit cards, debit cards, local currency, passport. And then you can see on the other side, I went for the surgeon zip, which is this quite large zip. To be honest, in hindsight, I probably would go for the divider system, just because with this zip, I can find things move to the bottom, and it can interfere with the, uh, the crank arm. All right, if we look at the down tube, we've got a Honecker bag here. To be honest, I don't get a whole lot of action out of that just because it holds my MSR fuel bottle and that sits empty most of the year till winter rolls around and then I use it to, uh, to melt snow. So that being said though, I don't really notice it, which is good because it means it's, not, it's doing its job. And then as winter rolls around, I'll use it a lot more. If we look down, can't move this thing. All right, let's move myself. If we look down, we've got another JPAX bag. This is the Many Thing bag. So I've got three of these, one, two, and three. And then these are held to the uh, the bike by the Salsa Anything cage. Really, really nice solid bag. Um, daisy chains to support the straps. One thing I would mention is that it, I did find a little bit of leakage with water. So I added some seam seal to uh, stop the water from seeping in. All right now, if we go to the bulk of the bike, um, on top, obviously, we've got the aero bars. And below that, we've got the Monida insulated bag. These things are huge. I don't know if, let me run over here really quick. So these are the bottles that they hold. It's a Nalgene, uh, 1,400 milliliters, 48 ounces water bottle. Um, insulated on the top, um, the middle and the bottom. So really nice and solid. And then something I'm experimenting with is these new bags I just got last week. These are Bob bags. And these are just my easy access bags for you know, GoPro, HD card, adapters, you know, small bits of food, bananas, whatever that might be. And if we move to the front, it's going to be hard to tell if we jump around this system. We've got the Revelate harness. Previously, I had the Sweet Roll, which is the same as this dry bag, but with the handlebar adapter. But I opted for the Revelate harness because of the greater capacity, which allows me to carry both the Salty Roll as well as the uh, the tent that I'm using right now, which is just a Hilberg Damage Four Season tent. Then if we move to the front, this is just my laptop that sits here, 13 inch Dell XPS. Wow, these cows are keen. All right, um, and then below that, we've got the, another Revelate um, product, which is the Pockets. This is advertised as small, easy access pocket, and it, it is great for that. My only problem is my laptop. So this houses more of my long-term winter gear, which is quite bulky, but not too heavy. And then last but not least, um, like the bag, that's over here. These are the JPAX Mini Thing bags, and then it is held um, by the Salsa Anything cage. And then they just hold the uh, the food that I usually carry. Oh, that's a lot of food for these parts of the world. So often one might sit empty, or I'll just half fill them. All right, guys. Well, that concludes the 
the short version, short, short version of my bike bags overview. And then in the longer version, I'll go through a lot more detail each particular bag.